Next up, we're gonna head up the Starway here and uh, we're gonna look at some Fast and Furious early demolition work, so let's go take a look. Quick though, it is a, a busy day on busy Saturday here at Universal. Parker is open from 9 to 8 today and it's just changed, but you see a lot of things are over an hour. Super Nintendo World is having team member previews right now. And yeah, a lot of things are over an hour. The minimum is 45 minutes. Kung Fu Panda always has the lowest wait, which uh, seems to indicate low interest. Even on busy days when everything had 100 minutes, Kung Fu Panda was 45 minutes. So I wonder if a new show will be going in that DreamWorks Theater soon because, uh, yeah, it seems the uh, interest is waning in that attraction. So, I see over here they added some tarps, some construction fencing or like some tarps as they get ready to start demoing the special effects building over here. Can't see, they haven't really taken much or if anything off, they're just kind of setting up the tarps now as you can see. This is what they're looking for and they put up those tarps, those protection, construction fences, tarps for Fast and Furious. And um... The rest, uh, yeah, not too much of a change. I haven't seen any more flags or anything. But we'll be uh, watching them very, very closely each and every week. Uh, I heard they selected a demo team. They're just waiting to an official start date for the demolition. Like the heavy demolition. And they're doing some nice prep work, prep work and getting up the buildings right now. There's another flag spotted down there. There it is. Little construction flag. It's a new one. It could have been there for a while, but I just noticed it just now. Uh, a peek inside special effects shows that the seating is still there, and the, even the express seating sign is still there. So no interior demolition yet, but hopefully that'll start coming up in the next few weeks, days, or weeks. Final of grip. Hippogriff is under refurbishment with no reopening timetable, at least that I know of so far. It doesn't say it on the app. It says when Jurassic World's opening on the app. It doesn't say anything about Flight of the Hippogriff. No, probably just a maintenance thing as they're not doing any track work or I don't see any scaffolding. So probably just a maybe computer maintenance thing. Hopefully it'll be back up by the time Super Nintendo World opens on February 17th. Isn't nature beautiful? Look at the hummingbird. Nature. Isn't that nice? Uh, oh. So you can see from here the animal actors up stage. We got some early demo taking down some tarps um, from the stadium. It's hard to see with the trees. Then we try to get a better angle. But yeah, some early demolition of the stadium area for animal actors. Uh, yeah, that before we get to the big stuff. Here's another shot of that early demo work for the uh, stadium. Nothing made yet. They have to gut all the uh, you know the sets, the bleachers, and all that good stuff. It'll be a, probably a few more weeks before we see something big. We'll know something big's happening when construction walls start to pop up over here because that means the heavy work is starting. But yeah, I see each uh, thing, uh, even the small things get demoed from here and over there uh, as we uh, start the progress and construction progress of the rumored Fast and Furious Ghost. Tissom has officially shot a soft open, so let's go inside. Let's go take a look. So here's the inside, it looks gorgeous. They even have those same type of windows that Toast Cafe has. I love it. To the right side is a gift shop, we'll take a look at that. But yeah, definitely an definite improvement over Hard Rock, I'd say. Some outdoor seating areas in the upper levels as well. Let's go take a look at the uh, gift shop. Here's some of the gift shop items. You have all this candy here. Looks so good. Dark chocolate and uh, sea salt caramels right there. Different assortments of almonds and chocolate. Some cool trinkets over here. Very, very nice. Got some nice shirts, sweatshirts, and mugs as well. This one looks really good. I might. Grab one of these. 
seventeen dollars. He also got some cool top hats, as well as some masks and different trinkets, yeah. and uh, a, a, mon a monocle, a monocular. I totally mispronounced that, but look, I have to buy this skull trinket box. All the wacky tootsums things. I love it. This is cool. Some more cool things like a little film camera projector. An octopus pox. An owl and a fish. Look at that. That, that looks awesome as well. Some more candies over here. Here's the area with the world famous milkshakes. There's their menu. They have all these red velvet, uh, gorilla and vanilla. All these wacky milkshakes, chocolate times five, which looks amazing. Look at the pictures. Oh my goodness. Wow. The chocolate times five in particular looks fantastic. Incredible. Let's see if we can get more menu changes. Oh, the last couple. Ooh, the brownie actually looks the best. Ooh. I'm a big chocolate guy, so that. I might have to go ahead and get that one, but the confetti looks pretty good as well. Here's another look at the menu. We just saw the milkshake, so I'll wait till we get to the appetizers. Here you go. So, got appetizers, chocolate, and almond bread, which I heard is very good. Truffle fries, kettle chip nachos, pork belly looks good. You have some salads and soup, barbecue chicken salad, I believe. Um. And there's a French onion soup, another Caesar salad. That's hilarious. It's literally called another Caesar salad. Got some sandwiches and some flatbread, some barbecue chicken flatbread right there. Pasta. I believe they may have even have some steak dishes as well. Let's see if we can see. Um, there's a Southern fried chicken BLT. Yes, entrees to be out here. So. Entree, there it is, the signature beef tirloin, or sirloin right there, six ounce filet. Love steak, so that looks, looks very good. Have the braised short rib, grilled teriyaki salmon. The hamburgers has Tour de France, brisket burger, and we don't know what else. But uh, they even have waffles. You have some brunch, they have a French toast, crepes, quiche, probably mispronounced that, and waffles, and there's some a kids' menu as well. And that's going to do it for this Universal Studios Hollywood update. I, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Toot Sums. And are you excited to track the progress of Fast and Furious like we track the progress of Super Nintendo World? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. As always, have a fantastic day.